Sure. So in 2024, we're titling a market outlook sailing with the wind. Um, and I think that really speaks to the macro scenario we expect which is that in the early part of 2024, we do expect a lot of the economic resilience in the U.S. economy uh, to extend into the early part of the year. And I think that, of course, has the knock-on impact on markets. As we proceed later in the year, of course, we're just on watch for whether those winds change uh, and whether that resilience indeed holds or whether U.S. growth starts to slow, slow in, a, in a sharper manner. And that's the macro context, of course. But for investors, I think what that really means is uh, we do like global equities. And that resilience in particular in the early part of the year, we believe should should be a big source of support. Uh, but of course, regional preferences are important. And I think we have a preference for US and Japanese equities from a regional perspective, because that's where resilience and of course, some domestic reforms in Japan should be supportive factors. But more than equities, of course, high quality bonds are the other asset class we think stands to benefit from the environment we described, because uh, inflation does seem to be moving in the right direction in most regions worldwide. So that should help bonds not only deliver an attractive yield, which was available today, but also we expect that yield to move lower, uh, potentially towards 3 to 325% on the US 10 year, just as an example. But should US growth slow more significantly, that's an environment where high quality bonds can indeed perform uh, even better. So we think that combination of favoring high quality equities, uh, uh, global equities, particularly with the preference for you know, US and Japan, as well as uh, developed market investment grade bonds, that combination uh, you know, with the preference over cash uh, is, is sort of the way we look to implement uh, our 2024 outlook.